and they walk and Leipzig lights up to another thrilling blaze of Dutch orange. It fills the frisson of French class and style. This, this is how it's meant to be. And so Leipzig licks its lips. This should be a treat. One of the premium attractions of the early stages, a heavyweight clash even before the knockouts. For a place in the last 16 with a game to spare. To save the sweat of taking it to the wire on Tuesday. France to win the group now. The Netherlands at least to have charge of it. Why would this not be good? Well, if the atmosphere is just simply electric, let us hope that the game matches it. Rabiot, Turam, Adrian Rabiot, and Griezmann slithered, and Griezmann again, and Reinders can carry it clear. Well, I can't believe Adrian Rabiot did not shoot. That is an incredible. They've made a real mess there, France. Dembele, Charmaine, Turam, lovely touch, Dembele, Conte, Griezmann! Oh, this was nearly one of the team goals, goals of the tournament, it's brilliant passing and movement, Ake, desperate lunge, goes to Conte, picks out Griezmann. Reinders, the final quarter of the game now, Cody Gakpo, driving up Kunde. Snatched out by Hernandez. Frimpong. Reinders. Gakpo. Memphis Depay. Simmons! An orange blur! Xavi Simmons has seized the moment! The flag is up, and it counts for nothing. Wow, that is a delayed flag. Anthony Taylor, the referee, went over to his assistant on the near side here, and he had a long discussion with him, and he decided that somewhere in here is an offside. It's certainly not there. It's this strike here. Denzel Dumfries. Well, Maignan points to Dumfries. I mean, oh. Open to interpretation. That's what that is. They will check it. They will check it. And they may or may not come to the conclusion that Dumfries was not impacting at all there. At first glance, he wouldn't seem to have been in the eyeline of the goalkeeper. He's at the side of the goalkeeper, but the argument from Maignan will be he was going to dive there, and that's where Dumfries was. I don't think the goalkeeper was saving that. Either way, whether Dumfries was there or not. Well, these are tense moments. For me, this is subjective. And I just wonder whether Anthony Taylor would be the one to go and look at that on a monitor. The assistant referee is uh, Stuart Atwell. He, in turn, has assistants from Switzerland and Germany. And they are pouring over this now. And uh, Anthony Taylor is explaining, perhaps, the complexity to the two skippers here. I think the fact that this is taking so long means it's touch and go. And as you rightly say, this has nothing to do with the offside line, which was self-evident. This is a matter of interpretation. And again, clearly, Anthony Teller is being fed further information, which he's passing on best he can to the captains. The crowd are in the dark. And 
The offside call stands, the goal doesn't. And the French celebrate. They have got away with one. The end. Nearly, but not quite. The first goalless game of Euro 2024 means that Group D goes to the wire. Neither the Netherlands nor France can be entirely sure. After a game of trove without penetration, a game of one notable moment when Simons had the ball in the French net, but the flag eventually went up and Dumfries adjacent to the goalkeeper was considered impacting in an offside position. So that counted for nothing and the game ends nothing each, a point each, a point that probably for each means qualification for the last 16, all of which still to be confirmed. What is for sure is that in Leipzig this evening it has ended. The Netherlands nil, France nil.